Hello, 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 hello. How's it going? My name is Nic Nicholas Blooms, here to talk about spirituality and transgenderism, detransition, all those topics all together into one channel. So for this video, I have a continuation from an interview I did with Kim, Kim O, oh, who is a relational soul coach. She is wonderful. She has so much wisdom that comes from a place from her soul and love. And she has so much love for people like me, people like you that might be detransitioning or considering that. So with that being said, she is also holding a coaching session and she'll talk more about it in this video. Um, but I just want to create like a cute little intro just talking about mental curing mental illness mental illness is curable like she talks about it she talks about her experience with it and i just want to set this announcement out that i'll also be um doing this coaching session with her on january 10th on tuesday i think wait let me check the calendar yes that is correct so on that day, and I'll put all the links, the information down below if you are interested in learning about the ego, understanding your wounds and where they're coming from, and just coming together with like-minded people, people that are interested in um, their ego, healing themselves, understanding themselves, understanding their experiences, their past, their wounds. So I will put all that information down in the link below. Just, I wanna put this out there for people that might be interested. So listen to Kim, listen to what she has to say. Let's be open to the information that maybe mental illness is curable. Wherever you are on your journey it is perfect. It is awesome. You are meant to be where you are. Just trust the process because you will get to where you need to go as long as you keep trusting yourself. Um, but enjoy the video and I hope you're able to take in the information and join us on the coaching session that Kim is hosting. So see you there. My big issue was self-loathing. Mm. And so the medication didn't take that away. I think that the medication maybe initially helped with the anxiety because I had, I had major anxiety even to the point where I didn't want to leave the house. Um, yeah, anxiety, as you know, anybody out there with anxiety, it can be paralyzing and extremely scary. So it's so scary you want anything to not feel that scared and out of control and hopeless. And so that's why you reach for a medication. And again, at the time that I was in my 20s, I think when I was first prescribed something, maybe I was even 24. And it was just the first thing offered to me, here, take this. I wasn't offered anything else. I wasn't offered, you know, coaching, counseling that was empowering at all. I wasn't given a message that, you know, um, you have an ego and your ego, your wounded ego is ruling your life right now. Your wounded ego is in the driver's seat telling you that you can't handle this. And so I believed that. Um, but I don't believe that anymore. My higher self, my true self is in the driver's seat and I have my wounded ego in the back seat. I'm guiding, I've loved on my wounded ego. I've given my inner child slash wounded ego so much love and attention that she feels really good right now. She doesn't act up too much anymore. More stuff like this is needed. I think the message needs to come out that mental illness can be cured because I think there's a stigma. One, there's a stigma mm -hmm. around mental illness and then we think that the medication is going to help, but like there's not, not a lot of integration of healing and working through your trauma while on the medication. You know what I mean? Like, I do what you mean. And, and I, I think it'd be really nice to clarify, you know, my thoughts. Again, I, I make no part of your journey wrong. You're on medication. Good. But if you want to be off medication, we can get you towards that goal. We can move on that journey. But I do feel when someone can be feeling so low that maybe they do take medication for a time just to help them 
like take that first step. Right. Yeah. But eventually, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be off? I just struggled on and off with the different medications for nearly 20 years. And again, there's side effects and it suppresses your feelings and, um, <laughs> I've done a video called the hell of psych meds because getting off of psych meds is no joke. It is no joke. Um, the worst hell of my life has been getting off of psych meds. I've been psych med free for uh, 13 years. <clears throat> so, uh, cure mental illness, 2023, it was Christmas day. The sunrise was gorgeous. <laughs> it was. So I go for walks every morning and, you know, I'm just open to receiving and it just was there. It just literally was there. Um, I don't know how to explain that, but just the thoughts or ideas just arrive. And I think it's because I'm just always open to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm a generator. I like creating. I like creating and teaching and coaching and just showing up and loving and serving any way I can. And so I will also say that the death of Twitch has been really devastating. Um, I don't even know him, but you could just see his love and light and the fact that he's gone. And from something so tragic, it's just, it shouldn't be. It has me motivated to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And especially since I talk with people who are coming to me for help and wanting to transform their lives. <clears throat> I just feel like it needs to be publicized even more that you can cure mental illness. And I did, and I help others do it. And so um, what came to mind was be free in 2023, cure mental illness. And I just feel like it's a message we don't hear. We don't hear that you can cure it. And I feel like there might be some stigma around that or people could get triggered. Right. I'm not saying that if you've been diagnosed with a mental illness that you're bad or wrong, there's something, you know, not good about you. I, I believe the exact opposite. I believe that if you needed to be diagnosed and be on that journey for a time, that that is your path. And I love that. And I love that for you. Um, I'm here to share that it's possible to change your path. It's possible to heal and to be cured. But if this is where you are right now, that's where you are. I mean, I was once there, um, panic attacks, severe depression, suicidal ideation, and um, I'm none of that anymore. And it also is an inherited quality, like it definitely is in my lineage. And I still was able to cure it, be healed, be completely free from it. And... So, you know, what helped me on my journey was someone like myself who was sharing, if I can do it, you can do it. It really is a powerful phrase. I believe in it. And sometimes when we don't feel like we have the strength or the stamina or the ability, I think it's okay to borrow somebody else's, borrow mine. Let my belief in you carry you for a time until you know you can carry yourself. So. Anyway, so that came to me on the walk and I got super excited and I called you up <laughs> and um, I'm just seeing who I can collaborate with to get the message out there. And I do love teaching and I do have um, curriculum. I call it soul curriculum. And I feel led that this is the first workbook we'll do together. There's something special about doing this together. There's something special about community sharing, being seen and being heard in a safe context. And I can provide that. I will provide the love and the guidance and we will share and we will do this workbook together. And we're gonna understand this ego because I do believe it is the ego that is convincing people that there is no way out, that um, I think it's the ego, the wounded ego causing people to take their own lives. And I, so I, that's why I think that this is kind of the, why I'm being led, that this is the first place to go is to look at that ego, understand ego. And also when we understand ego, we can also understand that we have a higher self that is our true self. 
that can see us through anything and everything with love. So that is Cure Mental Illness 2023. Be free. And I'm super excited and I hope we get tons of people joining me. Um, it'll probably be a Zoom. I'll probably use um, Zoom and I've made it super affordable. Basically, um, I think that you'll be listing everything in your description, um, but how you can join. I'm going to do it on Tuesday nights, seven o'clock Arizona time. And we're just going to meet and we're going to go through this workbook together. There will be the link to purchase the workbook. I think it's only $15. And then to join my locals community, which is $2 for the month. And you get to come to coaching every Tuesday night. And we're going to learn from each other. We're going to love each other. We're going to create understanding. We're going to heal together. So that's, that's what that's about.